Okay, everyone, as promised, we have our special guest for today. Uh, to celebrate the 14th anniversary of Arirang Radio and Arirang Radio's launch on Sirius XM. There is a group of four Americans, yes, Americans, who form a K-pop band because they are so passionate about K-pop. And we have invited them on our show, as we told you before during the week, to talk about why they love Korea so much, how they form a K-pop band, and much, much more. So please look forward to it. Should we try to ask them in Korean? 안녕하세요. 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 하나, 둘, 셋. 안녕하세요. EXP edition입니다. Wow. <laughs> Very nice to meet you, Robin. Thanks for having nice us. Nice to meet you. Uh, I tried the Korean because I knew you, you guys can speak Korean, right? Your 네, Korean 맞아요. is pretty great, right? I Hong Kong has say great. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> you know, sure you can speak in English. So if, you if, you, if, you, if you can't speak Korean, it's okay. It's really okay. Uh, well, first, can you guys introduce yourself one by one? Yes. Uh, 안녕하세요. Uh, 저는 Frankie입니다. Uh, I'm the uh, leader of EXP Edition. Leader Frankie. 네. 그렇죠. 네. 그렇죠. 안녕하세요. 저는 시메입니다. Hi everybody. I am Shime, and I am the chin of the group. <laughs> <laughs> it it the sounds chin? so different in English when you say it. Like it, sounds, it sounds really weird in English. <laughs> He's the the, the structural po, chin po, of the group. 턱을 yeah. 막고 있습니다. 턱을 아, 아, that's okay. usually, that's usually what he says. 네, 네. 네. Oh, okay. Oh, so. Yeah, so the chin of the group. Yeah, we don't really have to talk about it. This we can just move right along. Moving right along. Yeah. Um, that's a great nickname. I want to. I want. I want to be called the chin of yeah, something. Yeah, okay. It's a very strong, strong jawline. Yes, it's, yes. it's that Croatian um, jawline. No, it's beautiful nonetheless. It's beautiful, but yeah. yes, uh, hi, I'm Hunter, and I am the uh, village idiot or comedian of the group, <laughs> and Vi also village idiot. So yeah. it's Tongne Babu. Tongne Babu. Manga The broken person. It translates. Oh, okay, too, okay. Yeah. Which is actually true. I'm also <laughs> pretty broken. Um, <laughs> no, but I wanted to say that uh, congratulations to uh, Arirang on their 14th anniversary and the Series XM launch. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. congratulations. Congratulations. So cool. Happy birthday to you, Arirang. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then and our last. And the last one. Last but not least. 안녕하세요. 저는 Koki입니다. 저는 EXP edition의 김동희 막내입니다. What's up, guys? My name's Koki, and I'm cute. And that's that's <laughs> literally what I'm the cute young one of the group. That's my, yeah. that's my know, position. You guys realize that it's really weird to say that in English. Yeah. Yeah. Even me, I'm fresh, but I know this is weird. What you're saying right now? <laughs> we yeah. never do them in English, and it it just doesn't translate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so. yeah, have you guys introduced yourself in English before, like no. as a group? Um, as a group, sometimes we do, but on certain shows, we yeah, do. yeah, a couple yeah. times. Sometimes when we do English speaking shows, we do, but you we normally do the intro in Korean and then quickly say, "Hey, we're working." Yes, EXP yeah. okay. This. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. And actually, coincidentally, <clears throat> it's Arirang's 14th anniversary, and it's also our one-year anniversary yeah. from coming to Korea. So oh, really? Today yeah. is the day yeah. we... Congratulations, yeah. guys. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. A lot of things oh, to oh, celebrate today. Oh, so I'm patting myself <laughs> on the me. shoulder right now. <laughs> I'm curious, too. Is it your... Like, is it some nicknames? Or is is that your real name? These are, these <laughs> are, these are real names, actually. <laughs> these are real... Yeah. Shime is a 100% real Croatian name. Yeah. And there's and actually an upside-down um, V on top of his... It's actually not an upside-down. Like, you still don't know that. Well, it's the up, okay. the regular, yeah. the accent goes up. <laughs> makes it sh. It's also, Shime. Yeah. You're, you're from Croatia. I'm from Croatia. I was born and raised in Croatia, and I moved to uh, the States um, as a teenager. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so that's why the name is the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do do you play Overwatch? <laughs> <laughs> do I what? I do. Do you, play <laughs> do? Overwatch? Do you know Shime? Shime? No, it's, it's a character on the on the on the video game. Oh really? Overwatch, Overwatch is like a first person shooter. It's really oh, popular. Oh no, no, I guess no, all I around the world that. right now. It's really yeah, popular yeah, in Korea. We should go. Uh, that, I've been trying to get them to go to the PC Bang, but yeah? they never want to go. So. <laughs> oh wow, that's cool. Love we'll to have. That's actually a pretty strong character. So really? Yeah. But it's a girl though. It's a girl. I should I should I should go and check it out. Well, the real question is: Is her jaw as strong as Shime's? Nah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely the job. Okay, okay, You're definitely okay, the one. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of our listeners will be curious about this. How come EXP Edition was made? Like, what's the reason behind it? How did you guys come together? Yes. Yeah, so uh, we first started um, back in 2014 as a um, arts collaborative um, mm -hmm. in the fine arts world yeah. uh, back at Columbia University in New York. 
So our Tepionim Bora Kim, along with Karen Kuroda and Samantha Shao. Uh, Bora was a student at Columbia University, the MFA program. Okay. And they created Expedition specifically to be a non-Korean K-pop boy band so that they could discuss and highlight things like uh, fandom and cultural hybridity and... Um, how it's related uh, with the, the uh, cultural phenomenon of the Korean wave. So okay. mm. uh, when we first started, we started as a uh, creating a documentary to show the making of a, of a K-pop band. And uh, we performed at a lot of uh, many different um, art venues, such as uh, the MoMA, the uh, Ap- Aperture, uh, Queens Museum. We traveled to Art Basel in Miami to perform down there. So we were, we were very active in the arts community, uh, fine arts world. And then um, we moved to Korea a year ago mm-hmm. to debut yeah. here in, in Seoul. So. Well, so you sound so much like the leader. You're the leader. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cranky. That's why, yes. so that's why you, it was perfect. Okay, so uh, actually, you know, when I first came to Korea, it was five years ago. Oh, wow. We have a discussion with one of my friends, mm. and the point of the discussion was, uh, if foreigners did K-pop, did K-pop, is it considered K-pop or is oh. it considered? Yeah, I don't really, know. That's, I mean, we really had that discussion. And when 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 I saw you guys, yeah. I was like, oh wow, it's coming to life! <laughs> it's coming to life! <laughs> <laughs> it's coming to life! Yeah. So, what do you guys think? Like the why? Well, we should ask you what you think because you were talking about this five years ago. Yeah. Well, to me, I think now. Uh, K-pop is becoming a genre, right? Yeah, right a genre of its own. Exactly. Before it was just pop, like regular international pop or, right. or mm. I don't know, U.S. pop. But now it's really have those codes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, I don't even like uh, the sound, mm-hmm. uh, the way you dress, even yeah, the fashion, exactly. the image. Yes. Everything. So, yeah. I think now you can have foreigners like yeah. really, yeah. really being a K-pop group is really. Yeah, a good. Yeah. Thing. I think for I, the exact same things you said, that's we agree. So it's just a genre of music, and that's why mm. we took a liking to it so much because of all the aspects that make it what it is. The so style, special. the yeah. the videos, the the visuals, everything. So yeah, yeah. It's yeah. and it's also like it's not that foreigners haven't been in K-pop. It's just that non-Asians haven't been in K-pop before. And yeah, yeah. And yeah. and foreigners have been in K-pop for a very long time, but we're just kind of the first to not really have like a yeah. like. We're not all Asian. We're just, obvious, we're just very <laughs> obviously not. Yeah, we're, <laughs> maybe. K-pop, yeah. K-pop is the type of genre that just keeps changing yeah. every year. You see like That's these true. different changes, and even the, the music style keeps changing. And and now like there's foreigners being added to the group, and there's uh, now an, 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 a non-Korean. Uh, oh, girl Phil- group that all came Filipino out. Group. all Filipino, Filipino yeah, you know, so, so really it's yeah. really cool to oh, wow. see that how K-pop is how how it's transcended and um and it, how it's affecting different parts of the yeah. world yeah. yeah also K-pop as K-pop grows they pull musical influences and styles from all different cultures because yeah. it's it, yes, I mean, yeah. it's huge in South America it's huge in Europe it's huge in the Middle East and the st- I mean it's just K-pop's huge everywhere yeah. like, like you know and Korean it, it, that's one of their good points yeah. they know how to take things from different mm-hmm. culture and make it their own yeah. so it makes it as they make it like even better sometimes so yeah. uh, well can you tell me what do you think guys is the most difference between uh, Korean groups, K-pop, <laughs> and American groups. Well, I, I think that just Hunter, um, yeah. for, yeah, this is Hunter speaking. For a while, American boy groups, they've just kind of, um, especially lately in the past five years, they've just kind of been sticking to um, just singing, just uh, looking good, having catchy songs. That It's not really about their performance or mm-hmm. about the visual necessarily, especially in terms of music videos and performances. And K-pop, it's all encompassing. It's about the style, like the, the new fashions, um, the, the dances are just on a whole other level. Like, I, I'm not going to name names, but most of the big groups lately, they just they go on these huge uh, award shows, these huge platforms, and they just stand and sing. Like, that's it, and maybe they'll cross. And then that's the entire performance. So in the for, US, just yeah, yeah. So yeah. for us as a performer, it's so much more enjoyable to have all these different aspects come in. You know, wearing the latest fashions, um, it, different like all different types of music uh, coming together. with hip hop, rap, R and B, uh, EDM, which has mm-hmm. kind of been our sound lately. So it's just so much more fun as a performer. And there's this standard of, of perfection that K-pop maintains where uh visually it's like you, you as soon as you watch a music video or as soon as you see a k-pop group perform you can feel it and you 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 know what like mm. you know that standard is there and so i think for us that was also one of the most attractive things about it when we first started so were you guys 
fan of K-pop before? I don't know. Shime, you were a fan yeah, of K-pop? Yeah, actually, I was. So I, I grew up in Croatia, and mm-hmm. uh, I, funny enough, I grew up watching a lot of Korean movies, especially like horror movies. And there was this one section in my horror local, movies, yeah, so random, oh, right? very random. <laughs> but there was this one section in my local in Zadar, which is my the hometown where I grew up. Um, this one section of just Korean movies, randomly mm-hmm. enough, and I ended up watching all the, the movies on that rack and would go back every weekend to get more. And and that's how I got introduced to Korean culture. It wasn't until I moved to the States where I was actually exposed, you know, I, I was actually started hanging out with uh, Korean friends. And, mm-hmm. and uh, when I moved to New York, listening to K-pop, going to Norebangs in K-Town and, and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, my story is a little bit different, especially like from Koki's, for example, who... Uh, like also when he was in high school or whenever he yeah. was exposed to like you know Big Bang and and yeah and, yeah and oh, I mean, I, I grew oh you were you were a fan like yeah I mean you knew I, from before yes um, and what was your favorite group well my fir- so I I grew up in Texas and um, I I mean I was exposed to like J pop and Japanese culture because I'm half Japanese and when I was first introduced into Korean culture because I, there are a lot of Koreans in Texas and I had a lot of Korean friends. We were, um, I remember I was like on the bus to school and all my friends were like crowded around someone's, someone's, I was about to say hand phone, but um, <laughs> someone's cell phone. Hand phone. Hand phone. Hand phone. It became, it became <laughs> like an habit too, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so they were all crowded around someone's uh, cell phone and they were watching Big Bang's Haru Haru music video. And that was like my first introduction to K pop. And um, that was really like the first, like, oh, like, wow, what is this? Like, I had okay. never seen anything like it before. And it was so not, not only like confusing in a good way, but like refreshing and different. And it made me just. It, it was immediately attractive and like mm-hmm. addictive. So as soon as I got home, I just like started researching and researching. And, and then you've been a fan. You've been a fan since then. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> so Big Bang. Thank you, Big Bang. You should yeah. Thank yeah. <laughs> so many. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Frankie. Did, yeah. Uh, w- were um, you a fan? Yes. Uh, well, actually, I was uh, training and dance a lot in New York City, and um, the dance place that I uh, took class at New York uh, Broadway Dance Center. Um, a lot of the choreographers were using K-pop in their classes uh, oh, yeah. to uh, for combos and warm ups. So mm-hmm. that's how I became introduced to it. And then after that, it just kind of like I grew my my interest toward it. And then I came across EXP Edition, and it's been history ever since. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and for for me, um, I grew grew up in New York, and um, my me and my friends, some Korean friends, we would go to the the Node Bongs in K Town, you know, like thirty <laughs> yeah. third Street in, in near Midtown Manhattan. And uh, randomly, they would do K-pop songs, and I really wasn't familiar with it. And I was like, "Wow, this dancing is insane, and the colors and everything." So then, when I went home and I started researching it on YouTube. Yeah, so thanks to Norebang, yeah, thanks to yeah. Norebang. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, we'll take a quick song break, and it will be your song, guys. Ooh. EXP wow. edition. Feel like, like this. this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, guys, we are back on a special edition of Daily K. Today we have special guests for to celebrate the 14th anniversary of Arirang Radio and Arirang Radio's launch on Sirius XM. It's also the first year since EXP Edition came to Korea. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> three things to celebrate. Yes. <laughs> nice. uh, just before we were talking about uh, you guys uh, knowing K-pop before coming to, coming to Korea, but. Other than K-pop, is there anything in Korea that you know before that you were like, I don't know, about the culture, Korean culture? Maybe Hunter, did you know about movies? I, I know she may talk about mm-hmm. movies, but... I, to be honest, no. I, I, other than just stuff that I had um, learned in school, which I forgot all of, along with <laughs> everything else I've learned. Um, yeah, so I wasn't, I wasn't really familiar with uh, South Korea at all, and... Uh, some people, some of my friends had visited here before, and they're like, oh, it's kind of pretty similar to New York. But when I came here, I was like, this isn't like New York at all. It's so much, so much bigger. It takes, uh-huh. like, the subways are so much cleaner, and just, it, yeah. just, it just felt so, so different. Yeah, so I didn't, I was not in culture shock when I came here, but it was just very, very, very different. How is it? Do you like Korea so yeah, far? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. What is the best thing in Korea compared to the U.S.? You talk about the subway, so it's cleaner. Uh, You're okay. I really like the unlimited banchan that you can. <laughs> uh, I'm a vegetarian, yeah. so I re- that's really all I eat. So I just like that you can kind of get as many as you want. Unlimited. <laughs> and, 
side yeah, dishes. Awesome. And the little horse in the taxi that gallops according to the speed, I really like too. <laughs> oh, they're still they're still around. Yeah, yeah they're, they're smaller now. You have the, to look for it. Ah, I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're difficult. They're difficult. What about you, Will, Frankie? Uh, Korean food. I really love Korean food. I I, Korean food. I was eating Korean food in New York before coming here. So, um, since I've been here, it's really fun to try new new dishes, and I like everything. So now I'll always try anything. Mm. So, uh, What is yeah. your favorite food? Um, I love bindetok. Uh, oh. I love tokalbi. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, those are my two favorites, but um, kimchi, I love kimchi too. <laughs> I, I, I actually ask for kimchi. Kimchi, so. kimchi yeah. and rice is the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what about you? Uh, my favorite thing about Korea. Um, I, I mean, the people are just awesome. Mm. People are very nice and been very welcoming to us. Um, mm-hmm. We ha- like in our in our tongne, in our, like we have uh, the grocery store we always go to. There mm-hmm. was this one time after we debuted, and like all the all the grocery store workers like saw us, and they were like, "Oh yay!" And they were they were <laughs> fans. It was like so the cutest cute. thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. Or like just like the harmonies and harabojis who live around us and like see us, and we all greet each other. And it's I mean compared to New York, it's like night and day because yeah. if you say hello to a stranger in New York, yeah. they look at you like you're crazy. Mm-hmm. So. Try, try that in France. Yeah. Try that in Paris. <laughs> and also like, oh, who is that guy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but in Korea, we call that chong. Chong. The chong. Korean chong. It means like. Uh, Ah, good feeling for another mm, one. Yeah. 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 So it's, well, it's, it's, there's, it's there's, a lot of foreigners actually love Korea just because of chong. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Some there, people don't like the food or I don't know or the music or anything just because of the chong they stay in Korea. It's like that sense of community and like yeah, here. approachableness. Yeah, yeah. just. And yeah. what about you, Shime? You I told actually, about movies before. Yeah, but I was actually going to say, say the exact same thing that Koki mentioned. It's just from day one since, you know, because we, we had to leave our lives behind, our, our friends and our families and, and, and whatnot. So it was it was scary coming here at first. We didn't know what to expect. We'd also never traveled to Korea before moving here. I had never been to <laughs> yeah. Asia before. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, so, same. So, for all so, of us as well. Yeah, for Koki. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we really didn't know what to expect. And, and if from day one, our neighbors and, and and random people that we have just met on the street have really made Korea and Seoul feel like home to us. And so for that, I'm I'm really really super thankful. Yeah. Because sometimes when you go to a country, the first people you meet, yeah, are the one who the decide if you like if the, the country. Or yeah. 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 Absolutely. So that's great. That yeah. You find some great people. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, the most amazing people yeah. I've met here. Yeah. I had somebody give me their seat on the subway and give me grapes like the first <laughs> week that I was here. It was amazing. <laughs> that's great. Uh, <laughs> you said you didn't come to Korea before, even in Asia, but. Uh, now that you've been here in Korea, did you travel to another city except Seoul? We've we group as a group went to Japan, um, which was awesome. We went to Tokyo for a little bit last. Actually, it was during Halloween last year. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That was a lot of fun yeah. and. I I personally love Japan and love like Japan. it's such it's such but like in Korea in Korea we've oh, in Korea. oh yeah we travel uh, too many cities have, in yeah. South Korea now because we have a lot of we have a lot of performances and um like every week for the past couple the, of months the Busan been, area. Yeah. not Busan exactly but like a oh, little like bit Daegu. Yeah. 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 that's a good place yeah. but we we that's have yet to go to Busan. in summer that's a good place and we yeah. want to go to Jeju really bad it's so bad. You you went to Jeju? Well, no, we, we want, want to go. To. You yeah. want to go? You yeah. definitely yeah. should go. Yeah. That's really a good place. You should go. In fall is great. Fall yeah, and oh, spring. Really? In winter is kind of a bit cold, mm-hmm. but fall and bo- you know fall and uh, spring are the best season in Korea. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes. definitely. <sighs> I know. <laughs> you Me too. I want to really go to excited, JJ. I want to yeah. go with you guys. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you know, now that it's been five years that I'm in Korea, when I meet s- new foreigners that come to Korea, it, it doesn't been so long for them. Uh, I'm all. I always ask them, what is the first feeling? when you get into Korea, the first day. I remember for me, the first day, the first thing I did, I was into a dormitory, I, uh-huh. I unpacked, and I went to eat samgyeopsal. No. That was the first thing I did. What about you? I don't know, Frankie. What, we what got here really late, I, re- I remember, um, but I just, as soon as I got, as soon as I like came out of the airport, the, the sun was setting, and I just was like, yeah. I don't know, I just felt like this this feeling of like, yeah, like right outside the I don't airport, even know how to the sun it. was setting down. There were like a bunch of Korean flags, and you, of course, Incheon looks always beautiful, like so impressive, like the building itself. And, yeah, and I remember thinking, wow, I can't. What believe. is this journey that yeah. we're about to be on here? Yeah. This is it was like amazing. a mix of yeah. euphoria and like yeah. confusion and Seriously. excitement, and we were just like, because we, you know, we were in a completely new place, but we yeah. had each other, and we we're just like, 
whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I think for us especially, like this has been is, it was such a dream for us to finally come to Seoul and and embark on this journey to debut and everything. So finally arriving here together was just kind of like it was a dream come true. So, uh, yeah, it was just it was crazy. Yeah. What is the first thing you did? When you arrive, um, Kui, we went you? to go to a buffet. I think. Yes. Oh, oh my God, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's so Korean American. Yeah. Oh, no, Korean it was, it was Korean buffet. buffet. Yeah. Korean buffet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, that's so American. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> we tried to find the first McDonald's. Again. No, 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 definitely. No. We but then Korean the next buffet. day we went to we went to um uh a um, Manwon Shijang. No, no. Kwangjang uh, Shijang. Yeah, we went to market. Yeah, market. Yeah, that's a great place. I love it. So and shopping there too is so much. Yes, that's where I found love with being. Talk. Uh, <laughs> talk. Yeah. talk. There's and a reason. Makoli, that's the first yeah. time we had Makoli yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. What is the biggest culture shock? I'm really curious about. For me, it was in the subway. Everyone is so calm, so calm, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. like they respect like everything, the manner. They're yeah. really mannered in the. Yeah. And also, if you get squished up next to somebody in the subway, yes. it's okay, and it's just like assume that it's fine. But in New York, if like you even touch somebody else in the subway, they like push you off. Or, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> that, that was oh, yeah, like, that's you, don't, you don't get close to people on the subway in New yeah. York. I, what about you, Hunter? I don't know. Do you I, have any? I, I think the <clears throat> well, just because I don't know. I, I growing up in New York, I had never really been anywhere else, let alone Asia. Uh -huh. um, so just not just not seeing that many different types of people like in New York this is it's like a melting pot so many different yeah. types of people so just seeing Korean people and then me being the one that stands out was different <laughs> for me like everyone looking at me like who is this tall blonde kid <laughs> I'm like wow this the tables have kind of turned here <laughs> um, but yeah so that was definitely took some getting used to and you I Shime, think you... for me it's it's the whole um the, how important the age difference is in, in relationships. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, because, you know, especially being in the States, everyone, it doesn't really matter how old someone is and, you know, and, or your, how old your friends are. Everyone is kind of on the same, yeah. I don't know, level. Age, or, age doesn't it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Yeah. But here, it, it's it's so important and, and just to know how to address and talk to someone. Yeah. So so that that definitely took some uh, getting used to. I'm and sure you still like... Yeah, I'm uh, still I'm still uh, learning. Doing mistakes, yeah. Oh uh, my God, I too. make mistakes all the time. <laughs> I or people mistakes. say... And then I just play the Wego King card. You know, <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm sorry. the foreign card. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I do it too. <laughs> Even though I understand everything, I do, I do yeah, it. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, oh, sorry, uh, I mistake. <laughs> that's a that's a good way to go around, like when you yes. have some yeah. some problems. Uh, do you guys, because like for us, when we talk about uh, Korean groups, uh, usually there is the sukso, the mm -hmm. sukso mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. like yeah. the dormitory mm -hmm. life. You guys live together? Yes. 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 It's mm -hmm. actually interesting. But in, I mean, in the uh, I mean, even in Europe, like independence is really yeah. uh, important. important to us. Yeah. yeah. And and in New York, we all did so many different types of jobs and were so independent and uh, ha lived all had all different, separately, apart yeah. different apartments. So coming here, that took a bit of getting getting used to because we yeah. did the band a lot in New York, but obviously this is just all all we do now here. So like Frankie's my roommate, Koki and Chime room mm -hmm. together. So let's just say we've gotten very close. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> really close. Very, very yes. close. Okay. You know, I can feel some bad vibes coming from <laughs> that. From that. From that. No, no, no. We're we're, like we're very much. I mean, yeah, of course, of course, it's uncomfortable sometimes, but we're we're very much like a family, yeah. and, and yeah. our company is our, like our family as well, because we've all started together. We've been through so much together, so. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, yeah, of course, it's it's weird going from complete independence to complete dependence and, like, mm -hmm. having everything of your own to sharing everything. And, yeah. And yeah. Not the, that it's a bad thing at all, but it's just it's just different. Getting used to it, yeah. But the truth is that if, if, if we were to be here without each other, this wouldn't have been possible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, We yeah. all, like, help each other so mm -hmm. much, and we've all, you know... It's we more have fun this way, where, too. You know, <laughs> where you know you're feeling low and and what you're missing your family mm -hmm. and your friends back home and and so we help each other out we we talk to each other and so really we are like a, a, a family yeah, yeah. Yeah, really totally. yeah do you guys have like any specific specific roles each other i don't know uh frankie you do the laundry oh uh, no. you do the cleaning i think uh, everyone's supposed to clean after them well yeah i think same right. thing 
and 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 other Korean people who have like come to our apartment, they they always ask the same thing. And yeah. in New York, it's like if you have roommates, you get so used to like just clean up after yourselves, like and mm-hmm. do your own laundry, and you know. So yeah. even even the fact that we buy our own food sometimes separately, like we'll cook sometimes together, but for the most part, we cook our own mm-hmm. food individually. We all eat different. And sometimes stuff, Korean people yeah. are like, so oh, you guys don't like you're not gonna cook for everyone tonight. <laughs> I'm just gonna come back. I, I remember. I remember like, <laughs> actually, recent, recently, one of our Korean tutors was telling Frankie, like, "Oh, Frankie, you need to make sure everybody does their dishes. If not, you need to do them." He was like, "I'm not cleaning their I'm dishes. Like, These I'm like, are grown well, uh, men." You know, we 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 usually will if there's a ton of dishes in the sink, like someone will clean all the dishes. Yeah. But for the most part, we try to clean up after ourselves, and then um and then yeah, like yeah. our bathroom, we take care of our bathroom. Mm. They take care but of their bathroom. In our fridge, and a lot of Korean people think it's weird. We have labeled <laughs> yeah. labeled shelves <laughs> with really? our names on yeah. it because. Like, excuse me, who ate the, <laughs> my last two eggs? <laughs> eggs, <laughs> eggs are very sensitive yeah. in our household. Eggs are very sensitive. Everyone Tyler. loves their eggs, especially this one. Yes. You know, eggs. in Korea, I lived in a dormitory, and in Korea, every if you put anything on the fridge, it's fair fair game for anyone to take. Yeah, so the first one to eat it is the first yeah. uh, first oh, serve. Yeah. First, yeah. first come, first serve. First come, first serve. Wow. <laughs> I was like. Wait, who drank my milk yesterday? <laughs> this I is think, my milk. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think when we first got here, that was the thing we fought the most over was food. It wasn't like yeah, yeah. long hours and being exhausted yeah. and how to do something. It was like, who ate my yeah. who ate my well, juicy well, bar? Well, <laughs> when, when our company gets food for us, which thankfully is, is pretty often, like I don't eat meat, but they do. So if if they bring meat over, they're like, okay, so we each get six. Did you have four? I could have <laughs> swore that plate looked. We have empty. like portion them out. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so the the Dutch pay. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, four yeah. hungry boys after yeah. a long day rehearsal. We have to split <laughs> equally. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's time for our next song break. It is Big Bang Haru Haru. Yes. Ooh. Yay. That's for you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we are here back with EXP edition. Uh, they are the special guests for today to celebrate the 14th anniversary of Arirang Radio and Arirang Radio launch on Sirius XM. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I have a lot of questions for you guys. First, when I hear your song the first time, I was like, "They are so good in Korean." Oh really? Oh, is so? Awesome? So? <laughs> How no. can they sing in Korean? No, I mean like I really thought that you guys could really speak fluently Korean. Oh. But oh. now I hear that you learn the the sound before. That's right. That's how you. I think for our first. When we were in New York for our very first song, Love Wrong, that's how we did the. Uh, that's how we recorded it in Korean. Mm-hmm. But then with with Feel Like This, we had gotten more of an understanding of Korean, so it wasn't so much just like memorizing sounds and repeating them. Yeah. It was. I mean, it it wasn't. We definitely when we were recording Feel Like This, we definitely weren't flu- fluent. I guess. But we could mm-hmm. read and write. Yeah, we Korean. could. Okay, so you have like some notion of Korean. Okay. It's wait. just the the pronunciation is so yeah. difficult. Yeah. So yeah, I know. It's it's definitely the thing we struggle with the most especially when we're recording in the yeah. studio because it has we ch- we strive for it to be as perfect yeah. as possible yeah. Yeah. But, but then now these days like our Korean has improved so much that yeah. it, it doesn't take nearly as long and the pronunciation is much better yeah. and we can just kind of like blow through going through songs and everything mm-hmm. so at first when you get the lyrics of the song did you understand what it, what the, the meaning of it or are you just going by it was, we, we, we did not, not exactly uh, but yeah we, we did get the kind of like the gist yeah. the gist of it but yeah because there, there are a lot of like idioms and things that people say in Korean that don't like that don't translate directly to English. Mm-hmm. Like if yeah, there, yeah. there are sayings that we have mm-hmm. in English and I'm sure in French yeah. as well, like that don't directly translate or that That's don't make sense. And our songs, we've mostly uh, written in English or like feel like this was written by Michael Cortez and Ben Hostetler. So that was written in English. And then our Tepionim uh, Bor Kim along with us uh, like translate it into Korean. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So it's you not had like the meaning before. Okay. It, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You had the meaning before. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's also time to break Shime. I know. Ooh. I know. Ooh. I know. She, she. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mr. Chin. Mr. Chin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. I, Chin. I know you appeared on the um, uh, Phantom Singer show, yes, right? Yes, I did. I, I do. Yeah, I do. he did. He's, he's so amazing. He's so humble. But yes. Yes. Shime is the <clears throat> first and only uh, Wei foreigner, yeah. foreigner to be on the show. And his episode aired last Friday. And his second one airs this, this coming. Friday, yes. Yeah, this or Friday tonight? at 9 p.m. Okay, yes. yes. Tonight at 9 p.m. And he's oh, killing it. Oh, can tonight you tell, at 9 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you tell us the results? Just for Arirang 14th 
Martin's birthday. Oh my God, I wish I could, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna have to tune uh, in and see it. I'm not allowed. <sighs> Sorry, guys. But I tried. Please, I tried my best. Please follow me and support me. And yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> is it okay to ask you a little bit? Of the song you uh, the what audition the song audition, oh, the audition, audition song, song. is it okay to ask a little audition. just like the, uh, ten seconds no more no more <clears throat> oh god this is uh, <laughs> me, 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 caught me, me, me off guard oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay and she done <laughs> somebody hold me too close somebody hurt me too deep. Somebody sit in my chair and ruin my sleep and make me aware of being alive. Make me alive. Make me alive. <coughs> That's. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, it's no, it's really is it because you were caught off guard that you were so good, or? <laughs> 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 oh wow. Uh, I think uh, you will do pretty well tonight Thank on the film presentation. <laughs> I think you will do pretty well. Thank you. Uh, you guys know that in Korea, uh, if you do, uh, you don't only do music. Right. You have to do everything. Oh, we're yeah. learning. Yeah, we right? learned our variety <laughs> shows. So variety yeah. shows. So. Are there any variety we, shows that you want to that you want to appear? As, as an idol, idol group, as an idol group, we would love to go on Weekly Idol. Yeah. But yes. also because I feel like a lot of our energy is is like our physical energy and our energy as a group. We'd love to go on Infinite Challenge, Mohandajan, or oh, of like course Happy Together, yeah. and like those really yeah. Idol Olympics shows. would be idol a lot of fun. Would be fun. Oh great! <laughs> I mean, there's there's so many shows that we would love to appear on. And yeah, um, and I would I need to like really improve my Korean a lot oh, yeah, so I can go Abnormal to Summit, Normal Summit, yeah. and represent the Croatia. Yeah, oh, yeah. the Croatia <laughs> representative. <laughs> Croatia representative. <laughs> All right, guys, it was so much fun today. Really, yeah, I learned so much about you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me want to work hard when I listen to your story. Oh, like, oh. Me wow. Yolchimi Hageta wants to say in Korean. Yeah. Yeah. I really yeah. should work hard. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any plan? Uh, yes, well, we're actually uh, currently working on our album and mm -hmm. uh, getting ready for release very soon, and we'll be shooting our new music yes. video in the next or couple weeks. Or as they call it here, our comeback is coming very yes. soon. Very and soon. it's like going to be comeback. very different yeah. than Feel Like This, yeah. and we're so excited to just show yeah. like a different side of us. Yeah, so. yes. oh, <laughs> fighting. Yes. fighting! Okay, guys, you hear it from them, so be, be sure to... Uh, yeah. 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 Be sure to yeah. love them very much, to show the support for uh, EXP edition it will be the last uh, song uh, before leaving you guys so okay. uh, I think DJ DOC oh, DJ why DOC. did you choose DJ Run DOC we, we love this yeah. song and we always perform this at our shows and such a feel good up tempo dance like, yeah. good, Koreans good all know the song closer. and it just like really gets energy, everybody hyped yeah. up and yeah. leaves everyone with like a good feeling it gets us hyped up and like yeah. we get to expend the rest of our energy on this yeah. song yes. and takes it back to the 90s yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so fun <laughs> okay everyone is DJ DOC Run to you. We love you, Adidas. We love you.